Hello, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today is opening day trout season. Good news and bad news. Bad news, look at it. Snowing like crazy. And uh, freezing cold, windy, absolutely terrible day. But good news is nobody's here. And we are at literally one of the most popular um, trout streams in Western New York, right? Ishua Creek, right in Franklinville. Uh, I mean here, Cataraugus Creek and uh, the Little Conowango. Those are like the top three destinations and nobody's here, which is awesome. Um, I'm guessing it has something to do with the weather, but uh, this creek was supposed to be stocked this week. We're going to give the issue a shot with uh, the tackle that we have, maybe run the center pin and see what we can do. No fish yet. Eyelets are freezing. I'm freezing, but there's usually always some fish that hold up against this wood pile log jam thing going on down here. Looks like the beavers might have double uh, jammed this section of the creek. This is a bigger hole than it was the last time I was out down here a couple years ago. Anyway, this is the perfect spot for stock trout to hold, so there better be some fish here. All right, finally got ourselves a trout. It's about dang time. Where my net is right here. All right, looks like a rainbow. Oh, now and he's off. <laughs> ah, should have just thrown him up on shore. It's a stock trout, who cares? Well, at least I know they're in here now. All right, got one on the spoon. Yay, all righty. We caught a fish this opening day. Not a shutout. All righty. We are on the board. An opening day. Well, that was a brutal opening day, freezing cold. We got our one trout, missed a couple others. The camera froze right when I caught that trout. Um, I'm frozen, the camera's frozen, my eyelids were freezing. It's, uh, it's just brutal out here. Definitely gonna need to get a new camera before next winter. I'm just, uh, every time I think that this cold weather's over with and it comes back and I gotta deal with my camera freezing again. It's just very annoying. This is April 1st now. Anyway, I gave it a shot. So opening day was pretty rough as you saw. My camera died. It was so cold out there and I had to record that release with my phone. It was just a rough, miserable day of fishing. The next day was much nicer. I had an errand to run out in Chautauqua County, so I fished all the way from Chautauqua County back to my apartment in the Buffalo area. Started off at Chautauqua Lake, didn't catch anything there. Everyone there was telling me, oh, you should have been here last week. We were catching big 12 inch perch every cast and crappy and everything else. But um, that cold weather really kind of messed with the fish, shut things off. Didn't catch a thing at Chautauqua Lake, tried some of the trout streams, notably, Goose Creek and Casadega Creek. Didn't catch anything at either of those places since the weather was nice. It was very crowded. They had both recently been stocked. So all the trout were just held into a couple of holes that had a million people on them. I didn't catch anything upstream or downstream. And you know, I'll combat fish if, if it means catching a big 40 inch salmon because that's fun. But um, I'm not interested in combat fishing for a 12 inch stocked brown trout. So on the way home, I stopped at a steelhead trip and finally hooked into a fish. Alrighty, there's a steelhead. It's a fighter. Bit over in the slack water. Doesn't look like a fresh one. Beach him here, unlike creek behind my house. Little guy, I'll take it though. I'll take it. Not quite a jack. Small adult. I'll turn the drag on in this thing. Center pin's unraveling on me. Alrighty, where are you hooked, buddy? Hooked right there. He's ready to go. I'm gonna try and get a picture, but he's ready. So the next day, Sunday, was also a bit of a fair weather day. It wasn't quite as miserable as that Friday, but uh, the weather was still not great. It was cold and rainy most of the day. I had a lot of errands to run, so I didn't do much fishing, but I did get out that evening and uh, take a few casts behind the apartment, a few drifts with the center pin, and a few casts with the plug and hooked into a nice fish. Alrighty, finally got a steelhead. 
Oh, that's a brown trout. Oh, heck yeah. Eerie brown, baby. Eerie freaking brown. I watched him hit it too. I wish I was recording. Eerie brown, yeah! <laughs> that is, I think... Oh no, it's, it's my first eerie brown in a trip. Caught in lots of eerie browns and, uh... Lots of eerie browns and, uh... In Dunkirk Harbor. Oh, heck yeah. Gotta get my camera out for you. Gotta get my forceps out too. Try and get a picture before he's... I think he's gonna get himself off of there. Cool. That is freaking awesome. He kept chasing it. I, I should have... I wish I read it recorded. Oh, come on. Show me how beautiful your colors are. <laughs> Alright. Little buddy. Let's get you back into... Uh, into the creek. I think it's got eggs, too. Could keep it for eggs. All right. Yeah. Video release here. All right. We've got a rare, eerie trib brown trout. I think that is my first eerie brown trout from a trib. So that was my opening weekend of trout fishing. Overall, it was pretty slow. Of course, you're allowed to fish the eerie tribs before April 1st, but the inland streams um, were just miserable on Friday because of the weather. And then uh, Saturday was almost unfishable because of the amount of people. So it is what it is. It was a rough weekend, but we caught a few fish. We didn't get skunked on the day, so I'm happy. So I got out of work a little bit early today. I'd uh, pack up some fishing gear and uh, take a few casts down here at the park after the library closed. And uh, I get here, I had packed my bag with egg sacks, trout magnets, beads, and threw my camera in there just in case I hooked something decent. And get here and realize I don't have my bag. I must have left it in my apartment by the door or something. Um, the only thing that I had with me is uh, this flatfish that was still tied on my spinning rod from last time. So figured what the heck I'd come down here take a few casts and wouldn't you know I hook a giant steelhead right off the bat. The other funny thing is there's a bunch of other folks fishing down here. Folks with fly gear and center pins and stuff. And then here comes my dumb with sneakers, jeans, and a Ozark Trail Walmart fishing rod and a 1970s flatfish. <laughs> hook a big fish like on my first cast. It was just ridiculous. And then there's nowhere to like land it down here. I didn't plan for that. Fortunately, I had uh, forceps, an extra pair of forceps in my car that I threw in my pocket. Otherwise we'd have been in big trouble. I probably would have lost the flat fish. I had to climb down onto that rock right there. That is the only place in this whole area where like you can, you can land a fish without waders. Just ridiculous, but uh, definitely a fun experience. I think that was probably my personal best steelhead. Oh yeah, and then when I was fighting that fish, this uh, random bobber emerged in that whirlpool right there and I could reach it from the rock. So, uh, you know, we gained a bobber out of the day too. Be sure to subscribe and as always, we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure.